First tonight, there is some rain in the forecast this week, but that's increasing the anxiety for a growing number of residents in Bergen County. They're increasingly flooded by storms that barely pose a threat. News of New Jersey's Nick Medan is live right now in Hillsdale. Nick, they can say there's a clear fix to this though, right? They do tonight, Brittany and Kurt. They know that there are so many factors that contribute to extreme flooding in New Jersey, but they can't get over how no name storms lead to so much damage lately. And tonight there is growing scrutiny over reservoir levels in this area. The brook is about a quarter mile from his house, but Chris Adamondo is always keeping close watch just to help him sleep at night. It is becoming a mental issue for all of us let alone the physical issue, the no sleep. Three times over about the last two months, he's had to deal with this. Adamondo knew when he moved in seven years ago, this area was prone to flooding. He expected to do battle during major storms, but for the first time, he is haunted by just rain. A major storm, a major hurricane versus a half inch of rain is a very vast difference. He says the Woodcliffe Lake Reservoir has too much water and he's part of a growing number of residents, mayors and lawmakers calling on the state government to step up. It's now become almost a PTSD event where anytime it rains, even the phone in my home is ringing at 11 o'clock at night, one o'clock in the morning, getting flood warnings. My house had never historically flooded. She sent a letter to Governor Murphy urging him to use an executive order to force the water company Veolia to lower the reservoir from about 95 feet to 91 to see if that will help runoff and spillover. So far, no word from the governor, she says, and no word from the water company. And they say, we're not in the flood mitigation business. I get that. However, the state of New Jersey should be. Erin Fahey's family has lived next to Pascack Brook nearly 40 years. They've dealt with flooding a handful of times during the big storms. She says she can remember seeing the brook fill up before those storms, an effort to lower the reservoir to avoid flooding. If you lower it, there's a place for the water to go, and instead it's there's no place for it to go, and it's coming into people's homes and businesses. These days, though, she doesn't see any sign of lowering the reservoir, not even before Ida nine months ago. No, nothing before Ida. We were waiting for it, and nothing. And yes, Ida did hit that house. We never heard back from the water company. We should say that experts do say it is a good thing, Brittany, to have a surplus of water going into the summer. There is a bipartisan bill that was introduced, Brittany, by Senator Holly Shapizi that would address some of these issues, Brittany. All right, Nick, thank you.